There is nothing more fulfilling than the miracle of having a baby. When I learned I was pregnant with our bundle of joy, I was so happy. And then the time came when our son Ashton arrived in the universe, November the 27th, 1985. Ashton was perfect. He was healthy, he was cute, he was all that we had imagined. I remember when he was two years old, he would hum to the Jeopardy show song and move around in his little walker. Life was beautiful. And then, when he was three years old, I received a call from United Way, and the caller asked, we heard you had a son. Do you mind if we test him just to make sure that he's developing okay? And of course, I said, sure. A series of tests were performed, and months later, we received the report back. Our son, Ashton, had been diagnosed with autism. And the report went on to say that he would never walk or talk. And I remember thinking to myself, never walk or talk. What kind of mess is this? I didn't know anyone in my family or my community with autism. And at that time, autism awareness, it wasn't a household name. I was totally confused. I knew I needed a way to make sense of this. I needed to find out what was happening to my son. Well, being the analytical person that I am, and as strange as it may seem, I turned to the only instrument I felt skilled and confident in, computer science. My journey to acceptance was to explore the brain and also cognition using artificial intelligence, AI, a branch of computer science. My research used an artificial neural network like those found in the brain to explore a concept called equipotentiality, which is the brain capacity to both learn and co-opt other areas to take the role of a dysfunctional part of the brain. This was all the proof that I needed to help me to help my son learn and also to help me to overcome my feelings of confusion and shame and also fear. My mind started to illuminate with this whole idea of AI. With AI, I could train a system to function with human-level machine intelligence. And I came to understand that central to AI was this concept of remembering. Remembering prior historical information for learning, for reasoning, for self-correcting, and also for transformation. AI was perfect for the task. It gave me a way to explore the relationship between cognition, learning, and also damage. I realized that Ashton's situation, it wasn't going away, and I could not go backwards. I had to accept the change that was already here. This life event was the catalyst that transformed my way of thinking about the possibilities afforded through AI. So I chose to move forward without reservation or hesitation and came to understand that even though the situation had entered our life, it did not have to weaken our life. Just like AI, it's going to impact all of our lives, but it doesn't have to weaken us. Remembering is the transformative concept that led me to AI in hopes of finding a deeper understanding of what Ashton's brain function could be and what I thought it should be. The role that remembering and recall in history plays is a fundamental function of AI. Remembering is that point of access to both information and also emotion. It is this function that makes AI more human-like. Likewise, human intelligence depends on our capacity to remember prior historical information for learning and also progressing both emotionally and intellectually. AI understands that the past informs both present and future. This amazing fusing in the learning process is what makes AI predictive capacity so appealing. Unlike AI, that can be trained to move forward with information and also emotions without resistance, humans short-circuit this step in the learning process by choosing to remember Remembering differently or not remembering at all, because remembering can be painful. And instead of us experiencing the pain that will lead to possibilities and freedoms unknown, we conform, forever degrading our human intelligence until these triggers happen to remind us that we can become whole and heal. 
We call these triggers in AI tipping points, these small changes that cause big shifts to help us to realign, reconnect, and also to open up possibility spaces unknown. For me, this trigger happened in my life 20 years into my career as an engineer. I remember how I responded to the loss of my high-paying engineering job. On the outside, it may have seemed all things were well, but on the inside, I was broken, I was crying. During this difficult time, I knew it was imperative that I do some soul searching. It felt like the floor had just dropped from under me, and I knew that I was in a storm because this trigger had hit a major nerve, my identity as an engineer, and left me feeling emotions that I thought that I had dealt with. I had to remember and feel the pain associated with some very traumatic parts of my life, many of which had left me wounded and unable to fully develop into the person I was created to be. Just as distortion can cut the successful learning in AI, a similar effect happened in our human intelligence when we refused to learn the lessons of our past, resulting in what we know as arrested emotional development, a state of being stuck. I remember as all the shifting and shaking was happening in my life, my mother reminded me of something that I'd written 20 years prior, which is I would earn the PhD, of course I would have worked in industry for 20 years, and this would allow me to share my gift with the world. The truth of the matter was, I had to feel the pain associated with very traumatic parts of my life. My thinking was, if I didn't talk about it, it would just go away, erasing that part of my life. I had to accept the real me and realize all the time that I had spent creating an identity as an engineer, it was artificial. It was a box. It wasn't the true me. It wasn't the real essence of me. Just like Ashton's autism, it isn't who he is. It's only a part of him. It doesn't have him. So I guided myself into reframing and re-remember the whole incident. And I was able to change my assigned value of that incident and shift my thinking. This shift allowed me to move into a place that I had never known. I was becoming free, free to create, free to focus, free to allow my mind to imagine, explore, and discover. I was walking into a place that I had never known. I had freedom over my own agency, and this only would have happened if I looked inward and remembered. I would like to leave this with you that each of us show up in this universe with our own unique light, light that will attract all the resources that we need. And our light shines the brightest when we become clear about who we are and about our past. And this is the step that allows us to move into possibilities in freedom unknown. When we remember for the purpose of resolving our past issues, it is this step that allows us to move into a place that we may never ever know. And it's this place that we can bring our whole self to the problem spaces in AI to make great connections both with human intelligence and also with artificial intelligence. And then we're able to coexist and solve problems with unlimited possibilities. Thank you.